Wednesday, August 2nd. Hopefully everyone is doing all right. So today I wanted to do a video a little bit differently than just going over recaps. I wanted to talk about what I think somebody should spend on a trading setup. Now this is going to be more just for somebody who's kind of just getting into trading, right? So if you're doing your research, you want to give trading a shot and you want, you know, you want to get a setup going, but you're not sure as to how much you know, you should, you know, spend and keep in mind, this is all just my opinion, but I think that a trading setup, you can get a pretty solid setup for 800 to a thousand bucks with everything you need. Obviously that's not including funding a trading account, which is the most expensive part of this. But as far as, you know, getting a setup, it's relatively inexpensive compared to, you know, other businesses. Like if you think of, you got to start a restaurant, you got to, you know, you got to rent a place, you got to, you know, pay to build out the kitchen. You have employees. If you wanted to start, you know, a clothing business, you got to pay employees. You got to get a place. You got to, you know, pay for the inventory. So it's typically, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. And for right around 800 to 1,000 bucks, I think you can get a good setup. So I just want to go through, talk about everything, and then kind of do like a live search, right? So if you don't have anything yet, I'll show you kind of where I think is a good place to get them. I mean, eBay at the end of the day, you can get a lot of good stuff on eBay. And if you're not in a rush and you don't mind ordering something and then waiting a week or two weeks to have it shipped to you, then I would say you can go to eBay, you know, possibly even Amazon. eBay is typically a little bit cheaper on most things. But, you know, you could also walk into like Walmart for specific pieces. Like if you wanted to do, you know, monitors at Walmart, get your desktop online or walk into, you know, Best Buy and potentially get everything. You can do it like that. But, you know, I think that eBay is a good place to start, at least for that very first setup. So I quickly just want to go through, um, you know, what's available and then give somebody who hasn't built one out yet an idea as to what it'll take. So as far as a, um, you know, a desktop computer, now keep in mind, I'm not a, like a computer professional. I just, this is some of the stuff that I read online uh, mentioning that, you know, 16 gigs RAM was, you know, a good amount of RAM, especially with, uh, you know, trading or like, you know, stuff like that and wanting a reliable computer. So, you know, I would say just type that in, you know, desktop, 16 gigs RAM, uh, scroll down on the side, go to new because you'll want a new computer, right? I don't, in my opinion, you wouldn't want to buy used, even though maybe you can get a good deal simply just because, you know, you want to make sure that there's no bugs or anything on it. Even if somebody says, you know, they've cleaned it or whatnot, I would think, you know, you want new because you never know. Sometimes PCs, they can bug out a little bit. Um, and you know you want to make sure you have a reliable desktop out of out of your entire setup this is where you're going to spend most of your money because you want to make sure that you have a pretty rock solid desktop computer because if for some reason you know you got a crappy desktop and it shut down while you were in the middle of a trade you know that would just that would suck and you would forever be pissed off and you would want to make sure that you know that you would spent a little bit more money getting a good desktop so let's just you know, kind of go through some of the prices. So I think the, the gaming PCs are where you get more bang for your buck. Um, you know, 16 gigs RAM, two terabytes. You know, this gaming desktop is 799 bucks. I think that's, you know, obviously there are trading desktops that go for thousands, but when first getting started, I don't think you need to spend that. First, you have to kind of, you know, prove that this is something that you can do and that you can make money from it, which is incredibly difficult to do before you want to go all in on, you know, a all sorts of, uh, you know, bells and whistles and stuff like that. So 800 bucks, I think would be towards the high end. You know, as you can see, there's stuff like 469 for 16 gig, one terabyte, you know, and as far as going into which ones are better, you know, you want to do your research there. I'm just going over like super, super basic. So here's another one, a custom Intel, you know, i7 16 gig, two terabyte gaming desktop, 769. That seems pretty good. Um, you know, here's one for 541, a gaming computer, 16 gig. So, you know, as you can see, stuff on the super low end, I would say you probably want to avoid. It's very minimum. I think you want to spend 500 bucks. Um, you know, here's one for 467, 769. So it seems like right around, and then obviously some are, you know, pretty expensive, right? And unless you really, really, really can afford it, I, I don't think you need to. But, um, you know, if you want to spend a lot more, by all means, go ahead. But I think right around this six, $700 range is probably where you can get some good stuff. Um, you can get really, you have really good options right around that range. So, you know, a lot of 400s, a lot of 500s, but, you know, you can just do your research on here and, you know, typically you can get really good stuff. And then sometimes, cool thing with eBay, 
is they'll have this, right? Not every listing, but something they have or best offer. So you can even throw in a little bit of a lower offer um, on something you like to see if maybe you can't even get a better deal on it. But from what it looks like, you know, 16 gigs, two terabytes, a gaming desktop computer going for right around 700 bucks. Right around there. I think there's a lot of good options, but I mean, overall, you kind of get the picture here. I'm just, I'm going through showing all the options. There's, there's so many choices that you have, you know, 629, this one right is gaming computer, 16 gigs, one terabyte. I mean, this one looks pretty good for 629. A lot of, you know, 600, it even comes, I think this thing may come with a, you know, one screen or one monitor, 500, 600 bucks, but you get the deal. So I'm going to just do a cool little total to give everyone, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the total of exactly what you should expect to spend. So let's just assume that on the high end, you spend 700 bucks on a desktop because you got a few dollars to spend and you want to make sure that you get one that's really, really, really good and you're willing to spend a little bit more. Let's just call it 700 bucks. And now as far as, um, and you can even spend obviously a little bit less, but now as far as monitors go, it, you know, in my opinion, I think, you know, it, it obviously depends on, you know, personal preference but I think one screen you should be able to make money from one screen so just if you can't make money from one screen you're probably not going to be able to make money from numerous but obviously having a couple makes things a little bit easier so I think at the very minimum having two screens is ideal if you want three by all means go ahead I think when you're just getting started if you have three four five monitors it can be a lot of crap to look at so I would think two and mine are 24 inch I think two 24-inch monitors, they've worked great for me. I mean, honestly, I could probably add a third, but I think even three would be a little much for me. So far, the, the two works really well for myself. Um, and then, if anything, if I were to change my setup at all, instead of doing two 24s, the only thing that I would do is I would just do two 32s. So adding a little bit more real estate, but still only two screens. So two 24-inch monitors will definitely get the job done. So now let's just go ahead and... Um, and see what those you know typically go for and you know I think something like this you could you could probably go to Walmart and get ones for a decent price I actually think I got these at Walmart and they were on sale and I think I got them for like a hundred bucks a piece but you know if you're going on you know eBay just to kind of look at some stuff you know you're looking at you know here's 120 for this HP 24 inch you know LED LCD monitors I mean I'm sure these are pretty solid um, you know, some of them are going to be a little overpriced, right? Like 229 for a 24 inch monitor, I think is just way too much. I don't think you ever need to spend that much, but here's another 124, another 124. Here's one for 80. So, you know, occasionally you get a pretty good deal. This says only one left, so I'm sure they sell a lot, but you know, we're looking probably about a hundred, 125 a monitor, you know, occasionally there's ones, you know, 119, a little bit less. Here's another 84, which is, you know, a pretty good deal right there. So, you know, 94, that's pretty solid. HP, that's actually a pretty good deal right there. Um, and then obviously, if you're walking into like, uh, you know, Walmart or Best Buy, they'll they'll probably have some deals. So let's just assume that at, you know, we'll go with, let's go high end. I like to go high end because if you can save a few bucks, then great. Let's just assume $120 a monitor, right? So we'll say it's 240 for the monitors. You're looking at there's 940 bucks right there, and let's just say, let's say another 60 dollars in accessories. Let's say you wanted to get, you know, maybe some things on your desk, maybe like a computer stand, or maybe like, um, you know, one of those one of those things where you can hook onto the back of your desk, and then you you hook your monitors onto it, where it's a free swinging stand, you can move the monitors around, you know, stuff like that. Or even if you wanted to, you know, get a different keyboard or a different mouse, let's just call it. 60 bucks for accessories, right? And you don't need that stuff. This is just adding it in because if you do, right there, that's a thousand bucks. And I think that is the absolute max that you need to spend. I think you can get for a lot cheaper. You could probably, uh, you could probably get your desktop for 550, 600 bucks. Monitors, if you, you know, go to Walmart, go to Best Buy, find good deals, probably closer to a hundred bucks a pop. And then if you didn't want any accessories, probably more around the seven to $800 range. But let's just go, let's go a little bit higher, um, right around a thousand bucks. So as you can see, I mean, that was it, right? Majority of the stuff you can find on eBay. And, and then there are some other sites, but I just, I went to a, a super, you know, just super simple example to show that, you know, you, majority of the stuff on eBay is relatively, uh, you know, you can find some good deals on there. And also just a quick recommendation. I would say think twice about getting wireless. 
I actually had wireless and wireless is pretty cool, right? You don't got the wires everywhere. It doesn't look all crazy, makes your desk look all clean. But think about it for a second. Let's say for some reason, and only if it happened once, it'd be one time too many. Let's say your wireless mouse, for whatever reason, the batteries end up dying while you're in a trade. And you literally have to run around to get an extra pair of, uh, of batteries to replace to be able to, you know, have to get out of something like that would suck. So it's personal preference once again, but I would just say, you know, focus on getting, you know, the wired into the computer so you don't have to worry about any stupid technical difficulties because I know myself as well as anybody watching, if that happened to you once, you'd go nuts. You'd get out of your trade and then you'd take your freaking mouse and you'd probably throw it and be super pissed off and then tell yourself you're never going wireless again. So that would be my recommendation. Um, and that is really it for the video. I wanted to just put something together, especially for somebody who's just getting started and they don't really know how much it's going to cost. Call it right around a thousand bucks. You can go way higher. I, th I think you can also go a little bit lower and probably save a couple hundred dollars if you want to really find really, really good deals. But right around a thousand bucks is a good price point when getting started, which you know, in the, the big picture of things is pretty cheap, especially when you're you're doing you're starting your own business. And um, hopefully the video helped. And then one recommendation before I let you guys go is you should be watching, strongly recommend to watch Scott Redler from T3 Live. T3 Live is the YouTube channel. Scott Redler, he's a trader, he's an awesome dude. He does a daily recap, he does before the market opens in the morning and then after and this guy's been doing this I know I've mentioned it before but he's been doing this for like 20 plus years and he's very technical and he's very good at what he and this is what he does for a living so he throws out a lot of amazing you know just incredible advice for free every single day so go check that out hopefully the video helped gives you kind of a direction on which way to go that is it for me have a good day and I will see you guys in the next video